Hi, I'm Joe Noga. We're previewing the college football playoff semifinal in the Sugar Bowl on January 1st by talking to a beat writer from each team with a different question every day. We have Doug LaMaurice from Cleveland.com, who covers Ohio State, and Michael Casagrande, an Alabama writer for AL.com. Guys, our topic today, who's maybe an underrated player that could play an important part in the Sugar Bowl? Doug, let's start with you, and then we'll go right to Michael. Well, Joe, you know, with as many young players as we've seen contribute for Ohio State, there are a lot of candidates for this when you're talking about a guy who maybe lots of fans out there don't know yet but still could make a big impact. I'm going to go with Darren Lee, a uh, starting linebacker, a first-time starter this year, kind of came out of nowhere to claim that starting job, and he really has turned out to be a playmaker. Um, there's one thing to make tackles. I think there's another thing to make plays, and he has been a guy – who can pressure the quarterback. He's been a little bit like Ryan Shazier, their All-American linebacker from last year in that regard. Now, Shazier was a first-round pick. Darren Lee's not at that point yet. But he doesn't just make tackles. He forces fumbles. He recovers fumbles. And Ohio State does a good job at times of lining him up on the same side as Joey Bosa at defensive end and bringing pressure with both of them, especially on third down. Darren Lee can turn into a pass rusher, um, as a linebacker, that they take a defensive lineman off the field. They really use Lee as a pass rusher there. He has been effective in that, but he's just a guy that's around the ball and has a chance to force a turnover, recover a fumble, make a sack. That is a guy who, who again, maybe he's not a superstar right now, but he is a guy who could make a play that will make people notice in the Sugar Bowl. Well, I think the, the obvious pick would be Blake Sims. He came into the season. Nobody was picking him uh, to do much of anything. He wasn't even projected to be a starter by everybody, including myself. Uh, Jacob Cotto was coming in from Florida State. Uh, appeared to be, uh, on paper, appeared to be the pick. Uh, but Blake Sims, not only won the job in, in the fall, he's, he's broke score records. He's, he took out A.J. McCarron's record from a year ago. He's passed for 32, uh, 3,200 yards, uh, completed 68, 64% of his passes. Uh, he's he's been solid. He's he's thrown a deep ball. One of the main questions with him was was he going to throw the deep pass? He answered that pretty quickly. He had several really big touchdowns. The Auburn game had two big touchdowns. He, the Florida game was the, the beginning of the season was when he kind of broke out with the deep passes. Uh, 89, 87 yard touchdown, 75 yard touchdown. So he's been he's been a, a surprise, I guess you would say. But he's also would be you know people still come sometimes question his his abilities, but. I would have doubt he's been the, the unheralded player of the team this year.